had a dream, and in the dream, the prayer flute came to me. This is a love flute. It's not the prayer flute. All Everything in the dream happened to heal in the uh, valleys of uh, down by San Diego, where indigenous people from North, Middle, and uh, South America gathered to pray for Native Americans' religious freedom. And we're battling at that time because the United States Supreme Court had just ruled in 1988 that American Indian, uh, the American Indian Religious Freedom Act was not only bad law, but bad policy, and was not worth the paper it was written on. Yeah, they fell in line with the corporate goal to always suppress the idea of Native rights and the public trust. If you listen to the corporations, you have no right to clean air, clean water, to keep your land healthy, and to give your children hope for the future. You don't have that right in the corporate dream. Only they have rights. And that's United Citizens, where the Supreme Court ruled they could pretty much line the pockets of any politician unlimited. We, the people, have to work very hard to practice the freedom of assembly, the freedom of free speech, the freedom of religion, the freedom to, write, uh, to petition our grievances to the government. And by these type of gatherings, we're able to unite our voices and speak out. And through that effort, all of us working together, churches, environmental groups, citizens groups, and Indian tribes, have been very effective. We have defeated five coal ports. We're all battling the LNG plants or the tar sands pipelines. We've done totem poles to help fight against Dapple, Pipeline East, Kendra Morgan Pipeline. We have met with elders and children, politicians and bureaucrats. We've uh, traveled tens of thousands of miles on these journeys through everybody's help, assistance, and prayers. When we're down by the pole, we'll explain some of the symbology. We'll sing some songs, some prayers. We'll ask you to join in unity. That's what it's all about. I believe the trailer said a lot and probably said it all. The only reason I played the flute was that I learned that inside all of us is a prayer, a song. That's a part of the native belief, indigenous belief system. All things have songs. All things have spirit. All things were created before us. We're the pitiful children that came last. And in our cosmology, everything is older than us and is a brother and sister and they changed into a final form to give us something. But we are so pitiful we forget something died for us today. Something's dying for you today, for you. And we're supposed to wake up and put our feet on the floor or the ground and remember, today, today I'll be humble because something dies for me. An older brother, an older sister gives their life for me. So today, I will be humble and I will reflect upon that truth. I always say that we have to think about what Pope John Francis said, February 2015. We told you, you have dominion over the earth. But we, the church, have failed you. We should have taught you that God created all things. All things are sacred. Keep God's creation sacred. We failed you. It may be too late. We believe in our traditional teachings that all things come around full circle, which means it's an endless circle. It may not be too late to save the earth. It's not too late to save the earth. The earth will go on without us. It may be too late to save ourselves. Tokakai is a symbol of our attitude 
the way we passively accept the damages we do to all things around us. We clear cut the forest. We drain the lakes. We dam up the rivers. And we get upset when a sea lion eats one more chinook. We are so selfish. We'll take the meal right away from a sea lion. That's who we are today. We live in a world where herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, mold inhibitors, states enhancers, color enhancers, preservatives, and radiated food, and GMO are a part of your daily life. We don't know what it means to be natural human beings living with a world created by God because we changed it so much that if God came back to the earth, he or she would not recognize it. That's not what I gave you. That's not what I created for you. Don't you hear the songs? I was so shocked when they slowed down the voices of the crickets and it sounded like a choir. I was so proud to meet Dr. Emoto when he proved that if you pray to the water, you can put love in another person's body thousands of miles away. I was so shocked when he proved that water sees you. And water doesn't want to be loved. It wants to be appreciated. Which means we have to stop the contamination of the sailing sea. We have to restore the salmon so that the whales may eat. Right now, corporations are proposing a massive 400% increase in ship traffic. The mother won't be able to talk to the child. I played the flute because I was trying to remind you, you have a prayer inside. You have rhythm. You have a heartbeat. And it was taught to you by your mother when you were in the womb. That's the first song you ever heard was the one your mother played to you. It had rhythm. Tokakai has family. Her mother is now the leader of Alpod, Ocean Sun. Her grandmother passed away at 104. Her mother's 84. Tokakai wants to come home and hear her mother's voice again. Our goal with you is to bring her home. So we hope all of you will at least reach out to 10 people today and more tomorrow after the event. And we appreciate all the support, all the support, the various organizations, Sierra Club, and our local coordinators, have dedicated to this effort. Thank you for coming here.